Hey guys, so this is going to be a Dollar Tree and 99 cent only store haul. Normally I would separate those two stores into two separate videos, but I've acquired quite a bit of stuff that I need to film and show you guys because some of it is Christmas gifts and then some of it just needs to be put away. Today is my only day off of work for the entire week and as you guys know, it's almost Christmas, so I will specify where the item is from and price. I'm just going to start grabbing whatever is closest to me because, like I said, there is quite a bit of stuff. So the first item that I have to show you guys is nothing super exciting. It's just one of these um, Tupperwares or Christmas Tupperwares for like cookies or baked goods. You could really use it for whatever you want. It's the kind of cloudy, clear one, and it's got the Christmas Joy jingle, and it's in red and green, as you can see. They also had these in like baby blue snowflakes with a baby blue lid, just a couple different ones. And then they also had these really cute ones that were square clear boxes. And those weren't like the cloudy clear type. They were completely clear and they were really cute. They came in three different sizes. I almost bought some of those, but I wanted the actual Tupperware because those ones were actual like plastic boxes so inside and yes you guys ignore my nails as I say all the time um, I broke three of my nails doing recovery because as you guys know I work at the Dollar Tree it's just been crazy I wanted to film this video with nice fresh pretty Christmas nails but I won't be getting my nails done until Friday when I get paid so just ignore that so inside of this I have these adorable wax or oil warmers and I actually have three of them but the third one must be in like a bag somewhere so I'll show that one to you once we find it or get to it so these items were also from the Dollar Tree one dollar each so obviously I don't need to specify price when I say it's from the Dollar Tree because as you know everything is a dollar at Dollar Tree so <clears throat> I picked up the reindeer the snowman and then the third one is a snowflake and that one's my favorite these also have little cutout stars on them, so you would put your tea light in the back, and then you could put your wax or your oil on the top. And I do have the wax and oil warmers that have just the light bulb in them, but if you want a really strong smell, use these. Put a real tea light in there, and it's going to scent up your house for sure. Um, it does burn out a lot quicker, but like I said, it's... If you want to get the smell going a lot faster and you want it a lot stronger. So I will show you the third one once we get to it. <clears throat> so then I had showed you guys multiples of these adult coloring books. Um, I'm not going to go through all of them. I just grabbed a couple just to show you guys some of the ones that I've already filmed. I got the Autumn Magic, the Winter Magic, and they are these thick ones. And I think I got about 15 or so of them, all different ones. I had to end up taking back a bunch of them because for some reason, I don't know why or how, I had doubles. And in this vintage one, I even had three. And I definitely didn't want doubles of any of them because one, I don't need that many. And two, I want to save some for other people. So I took... A lot of them back and that'll be perfect for um, people Christmas shopping at Dollar Tree right now let me set those aside so I can show you the new ones I got because then they will be able to find those um, adult coloring books right before Christmas so these are the new ones that I picked up granted they are not as thick but they're still thicker than the adult coloring books that we get year round and these ones I think are my favorite because, um, well, I'll show you in a second. There's Color Me Motivated, there's Color Me Relaxed, and then there's Color Me In Love. These ones have a lot of different, like, quotes and sayings inside of them. So, I love quotes and I love sayings. I spend so much time on, like, Google Image looking at different, um, quotes and cute images. So... Here's, I'm not going to go through all of them, but here's an example of the Be Motivated or Color Me Motivated. So these are the type that I think I would enjoy coloring. So there's that one. Here's the Color Me in Love. 
<clears throat> this one has lots of cute ones in there. Look how cute that is, you guys. Let me see. I saw a coffee one in one of the ones I was flipping through. Maybe it was the Relax, I'm thinking. But just very adorable, you guys. So I think I will keep these ones. If I give any of these away, it'll just be one. So here's the Be Relax. I'll flip through that really quickly. So also more... Oh, that one right there is so cute, you guys. If I can get to it. It's got the quilt and it says Sweet Dreams. And then look at her long flowing hair. That one's a lot more detailed, but... Um, cute nonetheless. There's a coffee one. It says, good day, start with coffee. So those are the newer ones I got. And it says, easy, tear out pages for display. I wanted to see, um, if it had the amount of pages, but I didn't, I didn't find that anywhere. I picked up two more sets of these Jot brand stickers from the Dollar Tree. There's 88 of the letters on each sheet. I do, in fact, already own both of these sets, but I needed some more for some DIY ornaments for names, and I thought these colors would go well with the ornaments that I'm making. I picked up this wall decal from Dollar Tree. It says, Hello Love. This is going to go in my bedroom. I have the wall decal that says, Always Kiss Me Goodnight. I've actually purchased that twice for two different homes that I've lived in, and I just thought this one would be nice for my bedroom. This is the Main Street Wall Creations brand. This is just one-sided. It's not double-sided, and they have lots of new, um, really adorable wall decals right now. From 99 cent only, I picked up these little gift tins. These were $1.99 each. Oops. And you're probably wondering why I have this kind of, it's a large bow for this size of a gift. There were these, well there are, these like round yellow, I mean bright yellow price tags that they slapped right on the front. I don't know why they couldn't have put them on the bottom or something like that. And when I tried to start tearing it off, it started ripping the cellophane or whatever this plastic wrap is. So I decided to go over the price with a black Sharpie and then put a bow over it. So they each have these um, cute red ribbons and it says holiday gift. And then it's got the chocolate chip cookies in there. And then it's also got one Ghirardelli chocolate square in the peppermint bark. So I thought for $1.99, those were a good deal. These will be used for, like, going in my tote when I go to my Grammys on Christmas Day. I told you guys before, I take blank cards and, like, boxes of chocolates or stuff like this. So that way, if someone shows up unexpectedly, I have something for them because I don't like anyone to be left out. I can remember, um, like... When I was younger, unexpected people would show up and there would be no gifts for them. Sorry guys, I'm bending forward to grab this last little gift set from 99 Cent Only. And I remember it was just like awkward, you know what I mean? And um, I know whoever it was felt bad because they didn't have a gift. So I am not going through that. So this one was also $1.99. And as you can see, there's the price tag that I tried getting off. The bow just um, fell off. And these bows are from 99 cent only. I bought three packs, which I will show you guys. And normally the bows from 99 cent only never fall off. I'm surprised this one came off. Um, they're really good. I will say I don't like Dollar Tree bows. Every time I buy the bows from Dollar Tree, I end up with bows all on the floor underneath my Christmas tree. So this little gift set is the same thing. It's got the little red ribbon and the little tag that says holiday gift. This one has the adorable red and white mug, which I wanted for myself. I have a hard time when I go Christmas shopping. I'm like, oh, I want this for myself. I want that for myself. But I'm like, no, Jessica, this is going as a gift to someone else. This one has the Christmas tree shaped Ghirardelli chocolate square, so it's not just one. And it's the dark chocolate raspberry filled squares. It says luscious filling. And it says, I think it says 1.05 ounces of chocolate. So that one has less inside of it because it comes with the mug. So those are all from 99 cent only. Fantastic deal. 
the next item that I have to show you guys was from Dollar Tree. It is this Floral Garden Adhesive Diamond Wrap. It's 6 inches by 10 inches, and they have the bling sticker sheet sets from Dollar Tree, but those come off individually. This is um, like an actual entire sheet, so these would be a lot better for doing um, bigger areas with the rhinestones. I got the standard diamond color, a kind of magenta pink purple color, and then a really pretty blue color. So I picked that up. I picked up a pack of the tissue paper. This is in the Christmas House brand. You get 10 sheets. We do have the packs that come with, I think, like 24. I just know it's a lot more, but those ones are more plain. They're just like red and green, or they have that glitter on them and they're just white this one I thought was pretty because it's got all the different words on it Christmas happy holiday joy and it's got the Christmas wreaths so I got that and let me just say if there's anything and I don't like saying the full words any stuffers that you need um, any stockings anything like that that you need from the Dollar Tree I'm telling you go today go as soon as you're done with this video as soon as you can Everything is running out. If you wait until the last minute, there's not going to be a lot. I'm just, that's just my opinion. I see all these people running in at the last minute and they're upset because they saw this and it's not there anymore. Dollar Tree stuff like that goes very quickly. So then I picked up this Christmas house scarf from Dollar Tree. And you guys know they've had this in previous years. They also had these beautiful at Dollar Tree like very vibrant red, royal blue, black, and I forget the other color um, scarfs. I went ahead and picked up a royal blue and then the red. I'm going to pair the red one with this because these are very thin, and I think that will look nice for Christmas Eve. So I got that. I picked up some more wrapping papers, and I have multiple trees in my house. Um, I have the large one, and sometimes I do two large ones, but I just did not have the time this year. So I have a big one and then a couple little ones, like I said. The big one is all done in like red and white. Also, the tree is green. So I'm trying to stick with all red, white, and green wrapping paper. But I'll still pick these up for like next year. So I got um, both of these. And these both have the kind of brown paper bag color on them. This one has the pink with the Santa and the presents. This is the Christmas House brand bonus buy gift wrap, and it's 50 square feet. This is um, the largest amount of wrapping paper you're going to find at the Dollar Tree, the 50 square feet. Then there's this one with the Christmas sweaters, the socks, the beanies. This one's also the bonus buy, 50 square feet. The ones that tend to have less gift wrap are the ones that um, have, like, the characters on them, like... You know, the Disney princesses, Hello Kitty, or they're in the foil metallic look. So then this one is less. This is also Christmas House from Dollar Tree. This one's 30 square feet. And see, this one has like the puppies, the pugs, and it says Happy Holidays. I got this for some of Robert's Christmas gifts because he loves pugs. There's two different types of puppies or dogs on there. So I got those. I think I picked up more gift wrap as well, but I think I may have already shown that to you guys. Let me get this out of the way. There's no room around me, guys. I'm, like, completely just surrounded by stuff. So then I picked up, they had, and it's all still in plastic wrap, they had this copper set. And we still have some of this at my Dollar Tree. I thought this was going to fly off the shelves. But I guess people weren't loving it as much as I thought they were going to. Me, my store manager, and the freight manager, we all picked up the entire set. I just thought um, it was so adorable, especially considering it's the Dollar Tree brand. So I picked up four of these mugs. So it's like the metal copper look. I picked up a spatula, a ladle, and a metal spoon. And they're all in different bags, you guys. I should have got them all together before I started the video, but of course I didn't. I got two, three, or four of these little bowls. They have the little lids. Um, I'm not sure exactly how many I got, but I know I got um, a minimum of two of those. And... 
There are more items to that set. I will show those to you guys once I get to the bags. I feel like this video is horrible, you guys. I know I'm, like, bouncing around. I keep fixing the blanket, but I want to, you know, get it filmed for you guys. What else is in here? So then I was really happy, you guys, because as you guys know, um, you can buy, like, gold or copper-colored paper clips at, like, Hobby Lobby or Michael's. They're a little bit more on the pricey side, and I always check to see if Dollar Tree is going to get in gold ones or copper ones. They never have, and finally, I was straightening in the aisle, and I was like, oh my gosh, I know they're not gold, they're copper. So I picked up multiple packs of these. It's the Jot brand paper clips, and you get 50 of them. I know it's like the smaller size, but I don't care. I was like, I'm taking it. I'm just happy that they finally got some in. So, I got a couple of those. There's also one more pack in the copper, and they're shaped differently. I'll show those to you when I get to them. I picked up three packs of these Bonnie Bell Restart Face and Eye Makeup Remover Wipes. And it's 25 wipes. We got, like, a whole end cap of Bonnie Bell makeup, and I was excited about that because I do like Bonnie Bell. So, there's the second, and then the third is also in the bag. I picked up, we also got a lot of the scrunchy brand items. I got this set of the bobby pins, and I do use bobby pins or the little snap clips in the back of my hair because I wear my hair up to work. So this has the gold, silver, and copper bobby pins, which I really love. You get 24 of them. Also Dollar Tree for a buck. And the face wipes were also from Dollar Tree. I picked up these scrunchy brand, um, what would I call these? Um, just, I don't know, hair, hair accessories? I don't know. So it's the scrunchy up zing double combs for secure hold. And there's the example of what it will look like. One of my coworkers told me that there was like a gold colored one. And I was like, oh my gosh, I wish I would have got the gold one. That sounds so pretty. I don't think I would use these, so I'm going to gift these out for Christmas. Super pretty and um, definitely a good deal for a buck. I picked up this scrunchy hair product, and I just got the black. They have these in, like, bright neon colors, different pinks and mauves, different blues. And it says, scrunchy, everyday, and active, um, no slip grip, and it's just a headband. I like the fact that that's got that kind of reflective look to it once you have it in the light. My little sister wears these quite a bit, so I got that for her as a small um, stuffer. And if you wonder why I say stuffer, there's a reason that I don't like saying the full, the full name. So then I picked up, this is more to the set, if the second one is in there. And there's some of them are still in the plastic wrap because I took them directly out of the box. These are the salt and pepper shakers to that set, which I think are adorable. Very cute. Here is another Bonnie Bell product. This is the Bonnie Bell Powder Bronze. So it's just a bronzer, 0 0.33 ounces. I think this looks really pretty. It's got that sun in the middle. And I think I only picked up one of the bronzers. Maybe two, but I don't think so because they had just put them out and I was just getting to work and tons of it was already gone. So I got that as well. I got multiples of this item because this takes me back to like junior high, you guys. I think junior high and like freshman year, we used to always wear this Bonnie Bell lip gloss with that gold shimmer in it. And I'm trying to see if it says, like, okay, this is the Caramel Macchiato, and this is the exact flavor, exact same one that we used to use in the Bonnie Bell Lip Lights. So I think I got, like, four of these ones. See, there's another one. I picked up, here's another thing of the paper clips. 
because I told you I got multiples. I picked up some of these sequins, which these are nothing new. We've had these for years, and it's six of the bags. I always think that this set is so beautiful, and they have the blue and the pinks with the purples. I do already own this set, but I've used a lot of it, and like I said, I'm doing the DIY ornaments, so I'm going to play around with these sequins, see what they look like on the ornaments. I picked up this glitter pack in the copper kind of golden brown. You get, I think it's, yeah, six, six of the little pouches, and it's all the different um, gold and browns, like I said. This isn't from Dollar Tree or 99 cent only, but I'll go ahead and show it to you anyways. Grammy bought this from Grocery Outlet for Robert's Raider Tree because I'm a 49ers fan. He is a die-hard Raiders fan, and we do a little Raiders tree in his room, and she thought that would match well, and it's so cute. I love all the bells on it and the way it sounds. They had a large one of these as well, and I think the large one was $7.99. It was a lot bigger and super pretty. So that's just kind of a random thing thrown in there. Okay, this is just another um, mug to my set. Here is a Bonnie Bell eyeliner. And this is the Bonnie Bell, trying to see, it says, Now Smoother Formula. I'm trying to see if there was like a name. It says... It's the basic black, so there's that, and I used to always use, like, a creamy um, pencil eyeliner. I switched over to, like, the felt tip liquid eyeliners, and some days I get it just perfect, and then other days I mess up, but when I use, like, a creamy pencil liner, I'm always getting it perfect, so I think I might switch back to the pencil here are some more of the glitter packs for my DIY ornaments. I got the blue with greens, the pinks with the purples. Also, um, six packs each. Is this bag empty? Nope, one more thing in there. And it's just the paper clips, but it's in the different shapes, like I said. So these kind of remind me of music notes, but I don't think that's what they're meant to be. So you get 15 in this pack. And then in this pack, I don't know if I said you get, yeah, I did say you get 50 of them. So there's those. Definitely keep an eye out for those if you like making um, the paper clips with, like, the cute patches on top or anything like that. Here is the third. Oh, no. I thought I got a spoon. I must have gotten two ladles. Or is that the spoon? Okay, spatula. Where's the third one? Here it is. Sorry, guys. Oh, my gosh. I got two ladles. I meant to get the spoon, the ladle, and the spatula. I'm hoping that the spoon is in there and that I just got double of the ladles. If not, I will exchange this for a spoon if there's any left. And I'm hoping there are. I know um, these mirrors were already shown and they've been out for, like, I don't know, maybe three weeks or so, maybe a month, maybe even longer. I'm not sure, guys, but I finally broke down and purchased them. They had different styles, ones that just had, like, um, they kind of looked like a sun with the straight lines, and they were in different lengths. I thought these were really pretty in just the color that they're in. You could spray paint them, and I thought they definitely were cute for a buck. Those were also from Dollar Tree. All the Bonnie Bell products were from Dollar Tree as well. Here's some more of the adhesive um, diamond wraps, and it really kind of irritates me that um, the person that bagged these put them in like that because they're all wrinkled up now. I don't know. I always try to make sure that stuff like this gets put um, on the side or, like, in between a book or, you know, it's just kind of common sense when you bag stuff, so... Those are wrinkled up, but I got those. And like I said, there's a pink one as well. Let me pull these out. I picked up this. We're already at 24 minutes. I might have to do a second video because I still have quite a bit of stuff. 
I picked up this adorable window decoration kit and I kind of try to stay away from these because once they get weathered, it's hard to peel them off and sometimes they leave marks around them. But these ones seem like they'll be easier to get off. It's got the Santa, the snowman, the penguin, it says merry and bright, all the little candies and snowflakes in the Christmas house brand from Dollar Tree, and we have tons of Christmas lights and blow-up stuff outside, so everything I see that I can add out there, I'm just going crazy with it. I picked up some gift bags, and I thought this gift bag was adorable, you guys. I could not pass on this. I'm almost positive that this is like a baby shower type bag. It says, welcome but I was like, I don't care if it's baby shower or not. It's got the mama alley and the little baby alley. And she's got the bow in her hair. And then it's got the glitter. Super adorable. And then the back looks like that. They don't have glitter on the back. Just the front. But still cute. There were also some unicorn gift bags that were adorable. But I was already spending a lot of money. So I refrained. I got multiples of these red truck merry christmas gift bags you guys know the red truck um the vw the red vw bug the station wagon red car are, are all super popular right now for christmas so i got i think three of this one no two of this one and then I got one of the VW Bug, and there was a VW Bug at, it was a sign in the shape of a sleigh. I should have got it at Dollar General. It would have been the perfect gift for my Uncle Petey in this bag, and I put it back. I don't know why. I might go back for it, so I got those gift bags. And it has the name of the person that is responsible for these designs. I think it says Tina Wink. I'm not sure. I got this gift bag. I thought this was really pretty. It's got the um, old school truck on it with the Christmas tree in the back. It's got the Christmas wreath on the front. And it says, have yourself a merry little Christmas. I kept looking for the two gift bags that everybody's been showing on YouTube. One says St. Nick's Farms. The other one says something about 25 cent sleigh rides. And I have yet to find them. I'm thinking we got them and I just missed them. I picked up this two-pack of these candles, and the reason I got these is because I feel like they kind of match this copper set that I got, so I felt like I could maybe display these somewhere together. Um, not the entire set, but they had these in silver, a more gold color, I believe, and then this more copper color. I thought those were pretty. It's two of the taper candles in the Luminescence brand. The gift bags and those candles were all from Dollar Tree. Here is another one of the mugs. You do not want to put these, any of this set, in your microwave, guys. It will probably completely ruin your microwave. I got four of the bowls. And is there five there? No, four. And one of my coworkers was like, I thought those were dog bowls. And I was like, oh my gosh, because, you know, they have the silver dog bowls that look like this. But I don't care. I'm sticking with, I think these are cute. I think the set is just kind of rustic looking. Here's another one of the little storage bowls. Oh my gosh, you guys, look, another salt and pepper shaker. So I got two ladles, three salt and pepper shakers, just like I said with the adult coloring books. Because my manager put stuff aside for me, and I think she must, like, have put... Oh my gosh, four salt and pepper shakers. Are you kidding me? The box that she put aside for me, I just took it up to the register and paid for it. I didn't pay attention to what was in there. Either that or maybe some of the stuff in the box was for um, the store manager or the freight manager and maybe I purchased theirs. I don't know. Here's another storage bowl. Nothing exciting. You're probably like, why are you showing this to us again? Just... Excuse me, just because it's in the bag. These were from Dollar Tree as well. I also got these large red ones, and they weren't glittered. They were super pretty. I probably should have waited and shown them to you guys because they were so pretty. I wanted to glue them together like this, 
put two of them, if I can get these apart, put two of them together and glue them like that. And then I wanted to put the little um, dainty wired lights inside. You could do that with these as well. You could even turn this into a tree topper. But with the red ones, I ended up just putting them outside with my Christmas lights. So I got all three of these. I was going to put these on my Christmas tree, but I didn't put any gold on my Christmas tree this year. So these will probably just get put away until next year. These were from Dollar Tree, and these are in the Elegance brand. I really like all of the Elegance brand ornaments. They're usually really pretty. Okay, these were from 99 Cent Only, you guys. These ornaments are everything super adorable, and I was kind of thinking, did I already show them these ornaments? But I don't think I ever got around to filming this set. So they had this just adorable set that kind of reminds me of like candy, cotton candy, macaroons, something like that. I don't know. It's in these kind of pastel baby blues and baby pink colors. So I got this one in the Christmas tree, and these were all a dollar each from 99 cent only. Then I got this little set. Um, it's the two kind of baby blue um, glittery or sequins ornaments. Two for a dollar. I got... Come on. This little set right here. And I purchased a little white tree from Dollar Tree. But I'm kind of thinking that the little tree from Dollar Tree is not going to be big enough for these larger ornaments, so I need to purchase a medium-sized white tree. I do have a fake white tree, but it's five and a half or six feet, and I'm not wanting to do one that large. So there's these pink snowflakes. These just look like candy to me. So stinking cute. I got the same ones. Oh my gosh, this beaded garland or whatever it is is like getting tangled. One second. Okay, sorry about that, you guys. I had to pause the video and get the ornaments untangled, and I had to take a drink of my Sprite. So there's the pink ones that I said just remind me of candy. And then I picked up this one, and this is in the heart. They also had a Christmas tree um, that was, like, in this... Um, color and I did pick it up but I think it's in a separate 99 cent only store bag because I purchased the Christmas tree that looks like this on a separate day. I'm for sure going to have to do a second video so I'll probably show you the Christmas tree to this um, ornament in the second video because I still have a lot of stuff to show you guys. Then I got the same ones in the baby blue. So adorable. I could not believe these were all a dollar you guys. So, there's those. This next one, actually, I'll show you the beads first. So, I got this set of beads. These were also, you guys, only a dollar from 99 cent only. You would think that these would be like a dollar ninety nine. They're like kind of heavy duty for a dollar. And I'm just going to drape these around the tree. I kind of wish, though, that I would have got this baby blue in these beads. I think it would have been a lot cuter, so I don't know. It says, this is all in the Happy Holidays brand, that's just what it says, and this beaded garland is 18 feet, so that's an excellent deal for a buck. This little precious, adorable ornament was not from 99 Cent Only, it was not from Dollar Tree, it was from Walmart, but I could not pass on her. She is just so stinking cute, and I thought with all of this stuff, she it's just going to look so cute on the white tree. The only other dilemma I have for my little white tree is one, I need a bigger one, which I can find a medium-sized white tree at so many different places, but I need white lights, like the white, you know, the wire needs to be white. I'm not going to put green wired lights on a white tree, so I need to find a little strand of lights that has white wire. She is just so cute. And she was, I believe, a dollar. Oh, look. I thought she was a dollar and ninety nine. She was only one forty eight, you guys. She's got her little tutu, her little rhinestones, her angel wings. She's got a little halo up there. So um oh then I got this little gingerbread girl, not man. 
gingerbread girl because she's pink. She could still be a guy as well, but I think she's a girl. It's got the rhinestone eyes and the little pink bow and um, the buttons. I got more stuff that's tangled together, you guys. Oh, my gosh. This little set is just completely tangled. We move my little mousey over. There's this Christmas tree in the pink. So there's the baby blue Christmas tree and then the pink Christmas tree. I'm going to wrap all of these individually when I put them away because I want these to last me a long time. I got this little one that is just one of my favorites. The mouse is my ultimate favorite, um, but I really love this. It's the little gingerbread house, and it's just got all of that detail and all of the really pretty colors on it. And I believe they had these in baby blue as well. But when I went, you guys, they were wiped out of a lot of this stuff. And then the second time I went, when I found the Christmas tree in this theme or whatever, they had some more stuff out, but not a lot of, like, this or whatever. So I think that's everything in this bag as far as the ornaments go. Once I get to... Um, the bag with the other Christmas tree like that, which I've said like a billions of times, and you guys are probably annoyed. I'll show it to you guys. They had these little purse pom-poms. So all of these are from 99 cent only, all a dollar each, with the exception of the mouse, $1.48. This was from 99 cent only, and this was a dollar as well. I saw in someone else's video, they had white... Um, little purse pom-poms. It looks like something came off one of the ornaments. And I did see white ones, and I'm guessing I must not have looked closely enough. The white ones had little Santa hats on them, and I just thought the reindeer was so adorable. I need to put it on my purse ASAP because it's almost Christmas, and I forgot about this little guy. He has the gold glittered antlers. It's Rudolph with his red nose, so that's adorable. This is an ornament from Dollar Tree. I have these in silver and gold. I'm doing, actually, I did some DIY jars, and you use these ornaments. I actually got the idea from a customer at Dollar Tree. It comes out really pretty. I picked up this pack of stickers from 99 Cent Only. These were only a dollar, and I looked for more of these because this is just super cute for a dollar. But I couldn't find any more of this specific set. There were other sets, but just not this one. So, i try to get it to move down. Okay, it's not moving down. It's got the elephant, the um, lightning bolt. It says crush it, hello. Pineapple, that cute diamond. And then you can see the other ones. Let me move these ornaments. I just have nowhere to move everything. Once I show it to you, I'm like, okay, where do I put all this? Because there's other stuff that I need to show you. So it's like, I don't want to put it in with the stuff that I still need to show you guys. Okay. This video is already at like 40 minutes. So I'm going to show you guys just a couple more things and then I'm going to end the video and I will do a part two. So let's see, what can I show you for, oh my gosh, there's like Glitter everywhere. So this was from 99 Cent Only as well. This is going to be given to Robert's nephew, Baby J. He loves Toy Story. This was only $1.99. And if you have younger children and you're looking to buy Christmas presents for them at a cheap price, definitely, definitely go to 99 Cent Only, guys. There are so many nice name brand Christmas gifts and toys for like, $4.99, $7.99, $9.99. And if you're getting one at $9.99, it's going to be something really nice and something big. They had um, telescopes for kids for $5.99, like the ones that go on like an easel type thing with the three legs. Um, they had like play school um, toy sets for toddlers for $9.99, boxes that would go up past your knee, like really big play sets. Really nice, beautiful Barbies, like, not just your standard Barbie, but like, you know, um, a movie-themed Barbie, but they were big ones with beautiful dresses for like $7.99. It just amazed me, and I was like, oh my gosh, 
I wish they would have had 99 cent only when Robert was at that age because I would have just went crazy. So anyways, back to the stuff that I purchased. This is the Crayola Stick and Play poster. It says create scenes over and over and it says over 100 stickers and it includes stickers that glow in the dark. The contents are eight washable crayons, one sheet of color your own stickers, one sheet of glow in the dark stickers, and the background poster. So for $1.99, you can't beat that, you guys, especially since it's in the Crayola and Disney brand. Awesome. I already used a lot of the bows in these sets, but I wanted to show them to you nonetheless because I absolutely love the bows from 99 cent only. These are only a dollar, you guys. So when you get bows at Dollar Tree, they're not metallic. They're in that just kind of matte look. They're really small and they don't stick. These ones stick really well. They have all the metallic looking ones. Look how pretty these are. Blue, purple, magenta, pink. This one had um, red, gold, silver, black, and white. And I used all of the white and all of the red. They also had some sets, I believe, with like blues, whites, blues, whites, and golds. And I thought I had picked one of those up, but maybe not. I'm not sure. Let's see what else is down here. Okay, they had these adorable tumblers. I don't know where are the other ones so I can show them to you all at once. Okay, I don't see the other ones. I'll have to do those in part two. My favorite one has the coffee mugs all over it. It's a Christmas coffee mug uh, print that they've been having on lots of stuff at the Dollar Tree this year. So, obviously, these were only a dollar. You could fill these up with candy and give them away for um, Christmas with a card. You could fill them up with hot cocoa, give a $5 Starbucks card, anything like that. I didn't need any more stockings, but I thought this one was really pretty. It's in the Hunter Green, and it's got these sequins that look like um, bling on them. So I, of course, could not pass that up. They had a red one, and it was pretty, but the gold rhinestones, and you guys know I absolutely love gold. They were like the orange gold, and I don't like that orange yellowy gold. I like just gold. So if the red would have had the silver sequins, I definitely would have picked up multiples in the red. But it was only the silver look on the green. So there's another stocking. And sometimes I end up needing extra stockings for like my little sister or my little brother or both my brothers. I picked up this one bar of Olay. I normally don't like picking these up from Dollar Tree, and that stocking was from Dollar Tree as well, because it's one bar for a buck, but they were completely out of Dove at the Dollar Tree. I've already bought um, a couple packs of Crest since I purchased this, so this will just be back up in my haul closet. So, we are at... 43 minutes you guys I have to stop this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it I know I don't do the best job. I'm like bouncing around. I don't edit there are people that complain about that But I just like I said I just want to show you guys the stuff so you guys can go out and find those deals as well If you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you're not subscribed to my channel Subscribe because then it will notify you every single time one of my videos is uploaded I also have my Instagram that's break up to make up one. So break up to make up and then just the number one at the end. I tend to post things a lot quicker on Instagram so you can see the deals that I see a lot quicker. And if I don't see you guys or talk to you guys before Christmas, I hope you have a wonderful Christmas and I will see you guys in my next video which will be part two. Bye guys.